We spent uh, many years coming to Anglesey. My parents did have small businesses on the other side of the island and then in the 1970s they just came across the, this caravan park as it was then um, and came home one weekend and said we've decided to buy a caravan park um, because they always wanted their own business and uh, from then on uh, they came out here, they, they um, stopped their jobs and they sold up everything and then came here and it wasn't like it is now. Um, there were no facilities, no services and from then on they built up the business and that was back in 1975. In the 1970s there was no mains water, there was no gas, there was no electric, um, there were no roads, there was nothing like it is now. Um, and we started putting money back into the business financially every year, every year. And about four or five years after my parents came out, the, the business was too much for them and, we, and my husband and I joined them in the business. And we've grown and grown from there, improving as we've gone every year um, until present day. And we're now on the next generation coming into the family. The location. Um, we've just got this fantastic location. We have wonderful views, we've got the countryside. It's what everybody really dreams of working in. Well, we're, we're sitting up here, looking out at a fantastic view. We're about 150 feet elevation. Um, green fields, mountains in the distance, blue sea, blue sky. What more could you ask for? Our general marketing is um, by website, um, we also use the tourist board, the AA and practical caravans, magazines, um, but mostly our majority of our customers come through word of mouth. People who come in a basic tent, camping will be wonderful. We bought a tent for £25 and they come they haven't got all of the equipment, so a restaurant on the park helps. They can just come in their tent for sleeping, mm. they can come and eat here, everything's fine. Then you have people in very expensive touring caravans who have all of the facilities and then they'll occasionally come in the bar. And then you have very expensive static caravans that are a home from home, centrally heated, double glazed. So you're catering for a, a vast range of people. use of the website and the emails now is, is really taken over from in the old days it used to be brochures people used to telephone and ask for a brochure put a brochure in an envelope send it out now it's all email inquiries and computerized um, and with follow-up by telephone or letter it's very cost effective on the internet a good website is everything um, a poor website will put people off. So almost, you either have to have a very good website or no website at all. A poor website just does not help you in any way, shape or form. But equally, the response from the website, you have to be aware that people expect an instant response. People are emailing and almost using it like a telephone call. If you haven't responded to an email within the hour, you'll have a telephone call to say, I emailed you and nobody's replied to me. Have you got my email within an hour? Which can provide a huge strain on a small business. We get a lot of Dutch. We get a lot We've seen a lot of, of continentals. We, we, do a, um, we do advertising with the Dutch tourist board, don't we? The motorhome you passed as you came in were uh, a Belgian family. We've had an awful lot of Dutch, Germans, um, Australians, but predominantly Liverpool, Manchester, Stoke area. Um, we still have the Scottish coming down in the little break before our traditional holidays start. I would think that the camping side is sort of the 25 to 40, 40 40s. The static owners tend to be the 35s to 70s, so there's a split 
The static caravans yeah. are all generally owned by or shared between the two families. Mm. It will be the 60-65 year old grandparents with their children who are just having children. So we, you can't say it's one age in particular, the families are sharing a caravan.